Good morning, beautiful people. Uh, it's good to be with you this morning. Uh, John and I are down at the state park at Carolina Beach. It sits right here on the Cape Fear River, and there's a little a dock over here where there are a number of different kinds of boats being brought in and, and stored and so on. And you might catch a few coming past when we're talking about these things together. It's just an incredibly beautiful place to be. Uh, and so thank you for joining us this morning. I'm going to, over the next couple, maybe even three days, uh, be talking about a passage of Scripture out of Luke, Luke 24. I'm uh, going to pick up uh, with verse 13 in terms of our sharing, and we'll see you know, how much we want to stay in this over the next two or three days. But this is a passage that I'm sure most of you will be familiar with. Uh, it's called um, Some Folks on a Road to Emmaus. And uh, what's happening is on the day that um, Peter ran down to the tomb and discovered that uh, Jesus was not there, at the same time, there were these two guys that were making their way uh, on a trip up to Emmaus. And while they were walking along, they were really discussing what had been going on. They'd been in Jerusalem. There was the crucifixion. And then there was the talk now about the fact that the tomb was empty. And so this man that had been crucified uh, has been raised from the dead. And so these guys are talking with one another. And they have uh, a lot of questions about what had taken place on the weekend. <clears throat> They're a little sad. Scripture says they were kind of downcast, uh, disappointed, if you will losing or lost hope, uh, if you will. And while they're walking and talking, Jesus comes up in their midst. And uh, they don't recognize uh, who Jesus is at that point in time, but he engages them and, and they respond. He just simply says, you know, what, what are you guys talking about uh, that makes you so sad? And uh, as they respond to him, you know, they say, you know, uh, are you a stranger in Jerusalem that you don't really know the things that had taken place there? And then Jesus says a really interesting thing. Uh, I know it, you know, it was not just a rhetorical thing, may have been, but I don't think it was just that. Jesus simply says, what things? What things? You know, if anybody knew what had taken place in Jerusalem over those days, Jesus knew. Because Jesus was the one who'd been crucified. Jesus was the one who'd been raised from the dead. Uh, obviously, he knew what things. But as he engaged these guys, they talk about what went, you know, what went down, how Jesus uh, had been there, had been a prophet, and that uh, they weren't quite sure in terms of their understanding of who he was, in terms of divinity and so on. But they were uh, concerned, dismayed, and so on, that the outcome uh, and some of the brutality of the crucifix, they were just concerned and depressed and upset. And as Jesus engaged them and talked with them, uh, it's interesting. Jesus said this thing to them. He said, ought not the Son of Man to have experienced these things that his Father in heaven might be glorified? And, and this is so revealing here for us that Jesus was in this moment walking with these guys and still on his mind given everything he had been through in his resurrection form now, he's concerned that his father is glorified. And as he verbalizes this to these guys and makes that statement, ought not he to have suffered these things that the father might be glorified? Guys, you know, it's one of the things about my life that has been so radically transformed is an awareness of who the father is as revealed in the person of Jesus. But part of that that excites me is the love and incredible heart that Jesus had for his Father and how in everything he did, he wanted the Father to be glorified. And even as he was on the cross, he wanted his Father glorified because he knew that he was doing the very thing he had been sent to do, that mankind might be redeemed. So when these guys say, what things? incredible things had taken place in Jerusalem. And this man, Jesus, that was walking with them, not only understood, but he also understood the purpose of it all. Simply meaning that Jesus died that we might be saved, that we might be reconciled to the Father, 
that the Father's family might become a reality, that we might make our way back to Him. So I just want to encourage you today, think on these things, that Jesus so loved us and wanted to glorify His Father, that He was willing to go to the cross that we might be reconciled. So my word to you today is, have you made that decision? Have you made a choice to put your faith in Christ Jesus, that you might be part of the family of God, be reconciled to your daddy, know who you are, and then step into the purpose that God's called you to. This is Bread from the Beach. Be blessed.